Hi there, you found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky, and this is our friend Bear, who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Do you ever wish you could eat sweet treats all the time? Yes, some say they'd like to eat cookies and ice cream all day and night, Bear. Well, Cammy Kangaroo loves sweets too. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see what will happen if Cammy decides to eat all the yummy cookies in her house when no one's looking. Cammy Kangaroo has too many sweets by Stacy Bauer. All was calm in the kangaroo house. Mommy was putting baby Wyatt down for a nap while Cammy Kangaroo was having quiet time in her room. At least she was supposed to be having quiet time. Instead, Cammy's brain was buzzing. She could not stop thinking about treats. Candy, cake, cookies, ice cream. Cammy loved them all. She knew a great place to find treats at her house, the freezer drawer. Cammy hopped down the stairs and over to the freezer, grabbed the handle and pulled it open. After placing the ice cream into her pouch, Cammy Kangaroo hopped quickly to the playroom and locked the door behind her. Cammy Kangaroo scooped out a little of the ice cream and stuck her paws into her mouth. It was the best ice cream she had ever tasted. She lost track of time as she tried more and more of that delicious ice cream. Cammy, her mommy called. Cammy froze. The playroom door rattled and slowly opened. Mommy sighed and said, Come here, Cammy. We need to have a little talk. Cammy, it's not okay to sneak treats, Mommy Kangaroo said. Treats have sugar and can cause cavities. You have a dentist appointment coming up. Next time you want a treat, you need to ask Mommy or Daddy first. Do you understand? Cammy nodded. But the very next day when Mommy took Wyatt upstairs for a nap, Cammy started thinking about treats again. She quietly made her way back to the freezer drawer. But this time it wouldn't open no matter how hard she pulled. She hopped into the pantry searching for more goodies. The top shelf, that's where more treats were hidden. After mommy caught Cammy eating sprinkles in the playroom, she removed the lock from the playroom door and put it on the pantry door. Cammy still didn't give up. She found the cupcakes that were hidden on top of the refrigerator and licked off the frosting. Then she ate Daddy's secret stash of chocolate bars that were in the drawer next to his bed and hid the wrappers behind her dresser. She even found the pan of brownies Mommy hid in the microwave. Every day, Cammy found some way to sneak a treat. 
soon after, it was time for her dentist appointment. Cammie sat in the big dentist chair. After the hygienist cleaned and flossed her teeth, the dentist came in to take a look. The dentist said to Mommy, Well, I'm afraid she has four cavities. Cammie, do you brush and floss your teeth every day? Cammie nodded. Have you been sneaking treats again? Mommy asked. Cammie didn't say anything. Cammie, it's very important that you listen to your parents about treats so you don't get any more cavities, said the dentist. I'm going to let you choose a new toothbrush and some floss. Do you think you can stop sneaking treats? Cammie nodded and said, I'm sorry, Mommy. Mommy gave her a hug. The dentist let her pick out a new toothbrush and some floss. Then Cammie and Mommy Kangaroo headed home. When they got home, Cammie bounded quickly into the house to tell Daddy about the dentist. She caught him and Wyatt sitting on the couch with a big bowl of ice cream. Mommy laughed. <laughs> I think it's safe to say this whole family has had too many sweets. It's time to change our habits. Let's start with a healthy dinner. Bear's wondering, do you think Cammy wants to stop sneaking sweets? <laughs> Many say yes. She said she was sorry, Bear. Well, Bear is also asking, who else needs to eat less sugar? Bear thinks her dad does too. Hmm, who will Cammy need to help her keep eating healthier food? If you said her dad and mom, Bear agrees with you. <laughs> Bear also hopes you come back soon for more adventures in families who make good choices together. Bye for now. Please subscribe.